Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is contribution and investment. Again, we take the business model, right? Imagine that you have a business partner and you are investing $50,000 into the business and your partner is investing $50,000. That's going to work. If you invest $50,000 and your partner invests $2,000, there is going to be something that is out of balance. So when it comes to relationships and a coupling experience, what you want is to have some form of investment. Sometimes it's not a financial investment. Sometimes it's not in the form of time. Sometimes your partner will be taking care of the kids and you are not. You know, God knows there is a difference in the investment. But the idea is that is that there is a certain form of commitment and willingness to invest in a form of time, energy, financial resources, vision, conversation, sharing, whatever this is, emotional investment, romantic investment, but that there is something that is really given to the relationship and that is more or less equal. If one person is investing a lot and the other person is just holding back, just witnessing, I'm just here as an observer, allowing you to guide, allowing you to make all the efforts, but I'm not, I'm just stepping back, I'm just holding back. This is going to create an out of balance experience that is going to be frustrating for the one who is initiating stuff, for the one who is investing a lot. So what you want is this, it is that, for instance, you know, with preparing food, with preparing the space, with cleaning up the house, you know, if you arrive in a space and your partner is doing the totality of the household and you refuse to invest any of your time or energy or effort into it, it's going to get frustrating at some point. If you are the one who is buying all the groceries all the time, you know, sometimes there is, of course, a division of tasks because maybe you are not investing financial energy into the relationship and your couple, your, your partner is, you know, maybe they are taking responsibility for your financial stability and that's okay. That's one of the possible agreements that you can have in your couple. But basically what this means is that invest yourself, invest equally and have a contribution into the relationship that is more or less equal so that there is a balance and there is a, a, an equal amount of strength and power that is invested from both sides.